What's up, everybody? Welcome back to another episode of Regrowth. Oh, yeah, guys. So, uh, last episode, yeah, we made a bunch of seeds. We got some stuff going. We started into the build craft stuff a little bit. Uh, I was talking about how I wanted to make myself a pump. That way we can suck water out of the ocean, pipe it into the water tank above me. I've also rearranged the, uh, the agri-craft stuff up there, the sprinkler, so it looks a little bit nicer. Yeah, it's not off-centered. That was kind of driving me crazy for a while. And I also removed a row of our garden soil over here anyway uh so we got this thing laid out <laughs> uh i think this is probably the way it's going to be like every other row we'll have a sprinkler above it i think that works the best the problem is keeping the water tank full so uh, like we we're saying uh we we're going to do the pump and pump water into there but i saw in the comments that you guys had mentioned that the railcraft water tanks they actually push the water into these things i didn't know that before so that's kind of interesting. So what you guys were saying is if I build the water, or I'm sorry, the railcraft water tank on top of this, it'll just fill it up full of water passively. That is really awesome. So I think we saw before that those tanks only output about five millibuckets per second or per tick, or I don't remember what the actual rate is, but it wasn't that fast. I think these sprinklers might go a little bit faster than that. That's something we're gonna have to test. Uh, so I made up a little bit more of the water tanks here. So we have enough for, I think, three, no, four of them. Yeah, we got enough for four. Let's go ahead and build one real quick. I guess we'll just stack up a little bit of this. Let's build one of these on top of our current water tank here. Let's see how this works. We're, we want to ideally get this thing set up so I no longer have to put water in these things <laughs> because doing that is quite annoying. Yeah, you can see right now on that tool tip that the liquid is going out pretty quickly. It looks like it's going at about 10 or 11 millibuckets per update cycle. Uh, so I think this was a three by three hollow in the center. So we need 26 blocks. Let's grab this, uh, get up here and then up here. All right. We'll do one of those. We'll make it hollow in the center and then a full top. Cool. So that should now be providing water to this and it should be going down a little bit slower. Yeah. Look at that. Uh, the amount of water that's in there is definitely decreasing. The speed in which it's leaving the system is decreasing. So yeah, we are applying water to that. So that's pretty cool. So this does push the water that it, that it generates into this inventory. So I'm trying to think, what would be a good way to provide water to the system? We could expand out this water tank. Let's try this. Come down here. We could get rid of... Actually, I wonder, does it push more water with the more blocks that it's touching? Like, if we do this, does it fill up faster? Mm, is that... No, it looks like... Okay, so things are evening out there, and it looks like it is still decreasing at the same speed. I was wondering if, like, the more blocks the water tank was touching, the more it would output. That would be really cool if that was the way that works, but it doesn't look like it. Yeah, we are still not making enough water. All right, let's go sleep real quick. Don't want monster spawn. We had, or <laughs> right before I started recording, yeah, I had some monster spawn, and I got myself a little bit of rotten flesh in my inventory because of that. Um, yeah, I was just down here crafting up all the stuff from the essences that we we're making. Okay, so this isn't going to work. I wonder if we put multiple tanks on one of these, can we fill it up faster? Let's try that. Let's um, let's do this. Let's get rid of this one. We'll make this a little bit bigger. Am I in? A little bit of water down there. Yeah, we'll make this bigger. Okay. And then... Need to block the stack up on. Let's use... Where's my garden soil again? So we'll do this. Let's go ahead and we'll break... Oh, no, it's not an axe. Pickaxe. Yeah, okay. We'll stop this thing from happening. All right. So if I do... Uh, three by three on each side. Does that double the amount of water that's being produced? I assume it would. Do that. Make sure it's hollow in the center. Fill out one of these. Multi-block formed. Yes. All right, let's do that to the other side now. And block down there. And there we go. All right, so formed, yes. So we got two of these on that tank down here, and this is, is that increasing or decreasing? It keeps going up to 700. 
and keeps going down to 600. I don't know. Is it one water tank per two sprinklers maybe? Is that enough? I guess we'd have to watch this for a while to see if the water level goes up or down. Is it keeping up now? Is it slowly going to drain out? <laughs> I'm not sure. It looks like it is slowly going down actually. So maybe two of these aren't going to be enough. Maybe we're actually going to have to do four of them. Let's go ahead. We'll expand this out a little bit more. All right, guys. Well, we have four of them up there. We just have one corner of each one of these water tanks touching our, our wooden water tank here. And it looks like we are in fact gaining water. So yeah, it looks like one water tank can support just slightly more than one sprinkler. But anyway, uh, the way this was going before we were at the bare minimum of the amount of water that was in the water tank and, uh, to allow these sprinklers to turn on. So it was like, they're turning on and off and on and off a lot. So I just filled up the water tank to the point where all the sprinklers were on and the water level was kind of even. And yeah, it seems like we are gaining water now, which is kind of cool. Um, I'm noticing that the water level tool tip thing is kind of staying steady. It increases every now and then, but it's not going like it was before. And the, the third line from the top is slowly increasing. So we can kind of check the status that way. So it looks like given enough time, this thing will completely fill and that'll be awesome. Okay. So it's like one water tank per sprinkler is the way we're going to have to do this. Uh, we could leave this like that, but that looks kind of weird. It kind of feels like we would want to move these tanks off to the side somewhere and just kind of use these, uh, whatever the irrigation channels to move the water from these tanks all the way over to our central tank. Uh, maybe, <laughs> I don't know. Maybe we'd even want the central tank moved off the path too. So all we have above our crops are just these irrigation channels. Yeah, there's a few things we can do for aesthetics to make this thing look better. But for right now, we have water. I don't have to use my bucket anymore. That is so good. I can even, in fact, just come over here and get rid of this. I've been not liking this since I put it here for a while. The grass kind of died off with the water on top of the grass and it turned nighttime. Yeah, so anyway, we can get rid of that. We have full access to our crops now, which is pretty cool. I like it. All right, guys. Well, it is officially nighttime and we're on our platform and we don't have to be afraid anymore because I just got done spamming torches everywhere. Yes, finally. I've been talking about wanting to do this for a while and we finally got it done. We don't have to worry about nighttime as much anymore. Cool. So the way I have this done is I go around and I hit F3 and I look at the coordinates and then when we're on the tens. So like for instance, yeah, right there it says X 1170 Z negative 2430. I place a torch. And then go out 10 more blocks, so then we'd be at 1180, 2430, place a torch. And then you can hit F7 when you do this on the 10s. Uh, like if we remove this torch, you can see there is this little square pattern, or I guess a diamond sheet pattern. Yeah, so you can either, you know, hit F3 and look at the 5 and the 5. So yeah, we're now we're at 1175 and 2425 and place a torch. Or you can just kind of see there's like a little plus symbol, like where this one and this one meet in the center. Boop. That's exactly where it needs to be. So that's what I do is I just go around, I mark out the tens and then I just look at the F7 and I place the torch in the spot that doesn't have a torch. So yeah, we got this all set up. I did go up there and I checked and the water tanks can spawn mobs on top. So I place a torch on each one of these. So yeah, we are not spawnable up there. The Batania stuff I think is pretty safe. I can't place a torch on these. So if you can't place the torch, generally that means mobs can't spawn on it. And then up there on top of our stairs a while ago, I placed some torches in preparation for lighting up this entire place. So I think we are 100% spawn proof here. Now there is a little island right here that can spawn mobs, <laughs> uh, but I don't think anything can come over and get to us, but maybe those little ender minis, if they walk into the water or something, they might be able to teleport up here. Anyway, that's just something else that we got to consider, but I think we should be okay. So what I want to do now, last episode, we were talking about wanting to go to the nether so we can get some redstone. I think that's something we should do. Now I was looking at the quest book here. We also have this reclamation quest. Um, where is it? Yeah, this one right here. So this was talking about copper harvest, iron harvest, and then bronze harvest. I assume bronze means the level of the tool to mine. I'm not 100% sure. And if that's the case, that's higher level than the iron. And that wants us to get salt and amber. And I guess that is the bronze level tools. 
So in preparation for this downstairs, I put in uh, 27 copper and 16 tin, and now we made some bronze. That's pretty awesome. So we can go ahead and pour that bronze. We can cast that out into blocks. We should also probably take some of this and cast it out into a mold. Uh, man, it gets pretty laggy when you're pouring these fluids. <laughs> there we go. Now it's not so laggy. So yeah, we could get like our pickaxe head and do one of those, one of those, and pour one of those. So I'll take up one more ingots worth. Cool. All right. So now we have that. It says it's mining level bronze, which I assume is higher level than mining level iron. There really is no chart as far as I know that tells you like which one's higher than the next. So you just have to guess. I suppose, I don't know how this works actually. <laughs> uh, but yeah, we can go ahead and upgrade our pickaxe to the bronze level. Uh, making bronze really isn't that difficult to do. Yeah, we can just melt it down in the smeltery like this and then get it. I should break apart one of these blocks though. And just put one more ingot in here so I can cast out all the blocks from that stuff. So that'll be good. All right, so we should upgrade our tool. That lag though. <laughs> uh, let's go ahead. I think this has to be fully prepared. Let's test it. Oh, you know what? Actually, I think we have to do this on the tool forge. That and that. Yeah, that won't repair or that won't swap out. So if we do this, we repair it full. I think now we can do it. There we go. So now we have a bronze level pickaxe. All right. So I think we should be good. We just need to head over. Well, I guess I could take the rest of the stuff out of my inventory. Probably cast another two of those. Yeah, we could go to the nether now. I want to collect the... Well, the ones that are here, it, the ones that are here, it says the amber and the nether salt. We also wanted redstone, and I'm not sure what the mining level of that is. So that would be something else that we can go ahead and figure that out. Um, I did also upgrade my food to golden carrots. <laughs> yeah, we have unlimited gold, right? So there's no reason to not or to hold to hoard the gold to hold on to it. So yeah, I went ahead and I made golden carrots. Now they're not the best food. We could probably go to golden apples, and that might be even better. Uh, but the golden carrots, um, they have a higher saturation than the regular carrots. So that's what I'm going for. Don't drown. Don't drown. Yeah. All right. I wasn't sure if we had another boat over here or not. There might be one somewhere, but I think squid spawn, and then they shoot the boats off somewhere. So they kind of disappear on us. But anyway, yeah, we're going to go to the nether. We could set up another nether portal on our main base now. We haven't done that yet. But yeah, we're going to go to the nether. We're going to look for that nether amber and the nether salt. And hopefully we'll be able to get some of the nether redstone ore so we can build the build craft void pipes, which we were lacking the redstone last time. All right, so let's go there. Let's see what we can find. Well, unfortunately, the nether redstone ore is thomium level, so I'm not sure how we're going to be able to get to redstone without getting into thomcraft. Uh, maybe there's a way that we can get some thomium ore from like a nether fortress chest or stronghold chest or whatever these things are. I, I honestly don't know. I'm just going to go ahead and remove the scaffolding that I placed out here. We should probably also look at getting ourselves some kind of a jetpack here pretty soon. Um, I can't, re I'm pretty sure we've looked to see what kind of jetpacks are available. Uh, yeah, we're going to have to definitely start considering doing that here pretty soon. Uh, originally I was kind of like staircasing up here and I broke out one of these blocks and then lava came pouring out. So I was like, Oh no, run away, run away. Yeah. Uh, if I would have fallen, that probably would have been death. It's very, very scary kind of pillaring out and making scaffolding out of nether rack in the nether. <laughs> But yeah, I always clean up after myself. I don't like leaving scaffolding around. Uh, I think all the pigmen that were around should be okay now. Uh, so let's go back. What do we got here? Just some of the nature spiders think we should be fine. Yeah, let's head back and let's claim our reward. All right, guys. Well, we're cooking up a little bit of lumite now. Yeah, we got some aluminum ore, some iron ingots, and then we have some obsidian down here at the very bottom. It's going to take a minute for all this stuff to melt down and to turn into our alloy i'm really not sure the uh, the amount of stuff we're supposed to put in here and i'm probably making way more than what we need but it's gonna be all fine if we stick with the lumite for tools for a while we're gonna need some extra to repair them anyway so yeah uh we'll go ahead and let this stuff all melt down then i will uh figure out the proper amounts for everything later yeah if you look here at the molten lumite you can see that it is 80 millibuckets of aluminum 32 of iron and 32 of obsidian. It's kind of hard to try. It's like 144 is an ingot and then trying to convert all that stuff so there's an even amount of everything. Yeah, I don't know. It's hard to do just off the top of your head with the calculator, whatever. You could probably do it. 
Um, there we go. Molten Alumite. All right, so we have a little bit of aluminum left, just some nuggets, and then we have obsidian and iron. So it looks like I have way too much obsidian and iron in here. So anyway, I'll figure that all out. Actually, let's take the alumite. Yeah, that is on the bottom. We got 10 ingots worth. Let's go ahead and we'll make another cast out of that. Cool. So now we got another upgrade for our tool. So we can grab one of these bronze. Grab an ingot. We'll go and repair, and then we can upgrade all of our tools actually now, which is going to be pretty awesome. Upgrade all of our tools to the alumite. There we go. Nice. All right. So that's reinforced too. Uh, it's got decent durability, decent mining speed, mm -hmm. and the attack damage. I'll probably want to upgrade our sword to that as well. That's probably something we should do right now is go ahead and cast out, um, yeah, a Lumite upgrade for that thing. So we're going to need an iron ingot to repair this one. In fact, I tell you guys what, let me go ahead and just take a break here. I'm going to upgrade all of our tools to that. There's no reason not to. Let me do that. We'll be right back. All right, guys, so the next thing that we need to get in the nether here is nether gold ore. Yeah, this is a Lumite harvestable, so we should be able to do this one. Cool, so we got that. Didn't sound like there was any piggies around that were upset. Uh, we're also going to need nether saltpeter ore, that which I've found in the past is kind of hard to find because it looks very, very similar to, like, nether quartz. Um, I think it's slightly less white than the quartz, or maybe it's slightly whiter than the quartz. Uh, actually, is that it right there? It is hard to tell. That might be it right there. That looks a lot brighter than these other ones around here. Uh, <laughs> so we're just going to go ahead and pillar out there. This is super, super scary. Oh, my goodness. You know, I was attacking one of these uh, magma cubes earlier, and it dropped a slime ball, which is kind of unusual, isn't it? I don't think they normally do that. Oh, salt Peter ore right there. Got it. Sweet. Okay, so we are now done with that portion of the quest. Uh, let me just go ahead and break this like I do. Get rid of all of our blocks that we pull her out with. All right. Uh, yeah, I'm curious to see what the next portion of this quest is going to be. Uh, Thaumium harvest. Okay, so we won't be able to do this until we get into Thaum craft. I don't think. Uh, all right, so that's where redstone, lapis, and rutile ore comes into play. Now, I was also looking. Um, there was the... Oh, I forget the Tinker's Construct or whatever. There's some of them over here. And it said it requires steel to be harvested. And I was thinking that was going to be part of the line that we were doing here in order to harvest all the stuff. What is this? This is osmium. That requires manulin. Okay, so if we get manulin, if we get the cobalt and the ardite together, we can make the manulin. Yeah, that's what it was. I was looking at ardite. And it said it required steel level. So if we get the manulin, we can harvest that stuff and probably get into some of the... Um, I can't think of it. <laughs> Mechanism mod. Yeah, we could do that. And I was trying to figure out how to make the steel. Uh, it looks like there is rail craft that we can do this with, but we'll need the infernal blast furnace with some rot iron ingots, which is from garden stuff. Uh, there's the blast furnace. We'd also need rot iron. So it's been changed. So it's not just regular iron in the blast furnace. So we need to make that rot iron and the rot iron is made from a bloomery which I guess is from garden stuff. So we need iron plus sand. I don't know how long this takes. It looks like charcoal is the only thing that you can use for this. And that'll make the rot iron. So that's something that we'll have to look at here pretty soon. Uh, I don't know where steel comes into play. Is that higher level than uh, some of these other ones than thomium? Or is it lower level than thomium? I don't know. But yeah, cobalt requires cobalt level. The ardite requires steel. Maybe that's what it is. Maybe we won't be able to get... Or does the manulin, or I'm sorry, does the R-date have cobalt level? I don't know. Uh, anyway, um, I think it might be time that we look into investing into steel. That might be something we should do. Okay, guys, so I was doing some investigating on the different levels, the mining levels for Tinker's Construct. Uh, so it turns out Alumite is level 4, Thaumium is level 5, Steel is level 6. So if we can make steel, we don't have to even worry about Thaumium at all, which is going to be awesome. Cobalt is level 7. And then Manulin, and then the final tier, level 9, is Osmium. So what we need to do is make steel. Then we don't have to worry about the Thombium harvest, and that's what we're going to be able to get all this stuff, which is going to be awesome. Okay, so the next thing we need to do is to make steel. So we saw that to make steel, we need a Bloomery. 
Uh, yeah, we'll go ahead and do this. So the Blue Marie is from Garden Stuff Mod. Uh, so we need to make a forestry carpenter in order to make this, and it has to be with creosote oil. So I think you get a half a bucket of creosote oil per piece of coal that goes through the Coke oven. I think that's how that works. So we need to do a quarter of a stack of coal um, into the uh, the coal Coke. Okay, so we need to make ourselves a Coke oven. This is a three by three by three hollow, so we need 26 of these. And one of those requires four seared bricks and some sand. I don't know if we have enough seared brick to do this. We have almost a stack. Let's see what we can do with that. So it's like four of those, we can do 14. That's how many we can do. It's not gonna be a lot. I'm gonna fill the rest in with sand. There we go. All right, so we got 12. Yeah, we still need, oh, I guess we could do a few more of those, right? We still need a little bit more of this stuff in order to make the coke oven all right so there is 14 yeah we still need 16 or 12 more of those things in order to make the multi-block so i need to get some more seared brick going um i can't remember if we figured out a way to make this stuff without the gr grout doesn't have a recipe that's right uh seared stone oh you know what okay it's only 36 millibuckets to make that so i think what we need to do is just put some cobblestone uh into our into our smeltery. This will smelt down into the seared brick. I can't remember if you get, well, I guess we could look at this uses. If we melt this down, how much does that give us? Does it show it gives us 18? So it's like two pieces of cobblestone equal one seared brick. All right, so we'll get it this way. I'll just go ahead and make some cobblestone. I'll melt it down. I'll cast it out into the ingots. Yep, let me do that. We'll be back guys. All right, guys. Well, I just went ahead and I started melting down about two more stacks of cobblestone or at least two more uh, smelteries full of it. Yeah, and we were able to make all of the Coke bricks that we need, so we should be able to set this thing up. That's awesome. So we, I believe it's the same thing as a water tank. You just do the 3x3x3 three by three by three hollow in the center kind of a deal, and then you get yourself a Coke oven. So let's just go ahead and get this thing set up real quick like uh, so. Yeah, there we go. Now we have a Coke oven. Okay, so now that we got that done, we need to... Yeah, we're going to need a way to store that creosote oil into something. I think I found out before that you can just use the regular glass bottles from Vanilla Minecraft. That should work. Uh, we're also going to need to get coal in there, so let's just go ahead and break apart some of these blocks. I don't think you can do blocks at a time. I think you have to do individual coal pieces. But yeah, it's pretty simple to do. All you got to do is just form up the multi-block structure like that so you can right click on it and then all you have to do is just place in some coal and then everything just takes care of itself. Yeah, it doesn't require any power or any fuel or anything like that. It cooks the coal using the coal and it turns the coal into the coal coke. So yeah, that's going to be pretty awesome. When that stack gets done, we'll have 32 buckets worth of creosote, but I think we only need eight, right? Um, so probably the next thing we should look at doing is making some bottles so we can move that stuff around. I don't really think there's any good sorts of um, holding tanks in this mod pack. Uh, we do have like the Railcraft tank, right? The multi-block structure thing. And, but that's like one of those things you can't carry it around. Uh, I guess we do have the Mariculture tanks, which we could set up. We could make some of these. I believe that retains the food. Actually, that might be the better way of doing it. So I might do some of that. Uh, we have blood tanks. What else do we have in here? A thirsty tank. I don't know what that is. <laughs> um, yeah, so I guess for mass storage, we'd probably want to do the Railcraft one, the biggest size, which holds like, I can't remember. It's like 60,000 buckets of something. Um, yeah, there's a portable tank for mechanism, which looks similar to the one from Thermal Expansion, but it is different. Uh, so anyway, we'll just probably... Yeah, I think I'm just going to cook up some sand is what I'm going to do. Uh, I'm going to make the vanilla. Do we not have a furnace around here? I guess we don't. Uh, I'm just going to make the vanilla glass bottles and put that in there. Each one of those bottles will hold a bucket's worth, so that'll be pretty good. Let me go ahead and get that done, and we'll be back. All right, guys. Well, while we wait for our Coke oven to do its thing, I've already gotten about four bottles of the creosote. I was looking. I was thinking that we should make the carpenter, so I was looking at this. The carpenter from forestry requires, you know, just some bronze, sturdy casing, glass. You know, this is all the stuff that we've seen before for forestry. Nothing's changed here. So the sturdy casing is made with bronze ingots. 
in a rolling machine. Aha! So there's something that has been changed. Yeah, we had different types of bronze that you can use, but yeah, we need brawn ingots, eight of them in a rolling machine. So we're gonna need power in order to make the carpenter. We're gonna need power to power the carpenter. So a rolling machine, this is rail craft. So in order to make a real rolling machine, we need, oh, this is different, sheets of aluminum. That's from Mariculture. Some pistons, some brick construction block from Mariculture, which is burnt brick and iron bars. Yeah, and the recipe for the burnt brick is another brick in a vat full of lava. Yeah, so we're going to have to do some lava collecting in order to do this stuff. So it's like one bucket of lava uh, with four of the nether bricks will get us one block. Okay, so we're going to need two buckets of lava. We'll just assume it's a bucket of lava per. And then the sheet of aluminum is made from a blacksmith's anvil with a block of aluminum. Okay, uh, looks like we could also do it with a rolling machine if we had one, but... We're going to have to do the blacksmith's anvil first. So <laughs> blacksmith anvil. I've never used this particular thing before. So yeah, this is Mariculture. It looks like there's the assistant. We have this one. I can't remember if we made one of these before. I feel like I feel like we had to make one of these for a quest earlier, although I could be wrong. Let's um let's backtrack. Oh wait, I think we we're just there. Do we have to make Oh no, you know what? There was a quest to make these. That's right. I remember seeing this, but we never made it before. Okay, so the blacksmith's anvil is another brick plus three more burnt bricks plus uh, three more of the brick construction blocks. So, yeah, we're going to need like four, five, six buckets of lava's worth of going, <laughs> worth of converting nether brick into the burnt brick. Okay, so that's fine. We also have nether bricks here, so we got that taken care of. Uh, I guess we'll smelt up some nether rack into the burnt brick uh actually i just need one of those yeah so we'll do eight of those and eight of those cool and i have a line of furnaces set up here which i use to turn sand into glass so we could make the bottles all right so we'll go ahead and do this we'll get the bricks cooked up i'll go ahead and turn the nether bricks into the burnt bricks we probably don't need this many but we might as well just go ahead and get that all done uh yeah and our coke oven over here i think should be about ready to give us the other four bottles that we need nope <laughs> i'm wrong yeah we still need three more well i guess two and a half more uh pieces of coal turning into the coal coke i don't know if this is sped up it feels like this is going faster than what it normally does but i don't know if there's even an option to change that for railcraft that might be the default speed uh but anyway i'm gonna go ahead and get some burnt bricks made up and we'll be right back guys all right, guys. Well, I went ahead and I made up the extra burnt bricks that we need. We have like 12 left over from when I crafted up, and I just made two of these brick construction blocks. So let's go ahead and make this blacksmith's anvil. Actually, I need one more another brick. We'll make the blacksmith's anvil, which is, yeah, three of the burnt bricks, another brick, and then three of these brick construction blocks. Cool. So now we got that done, and then we need the blacksmith's hammer. Uh, so that is three burnt bricks, and then two another brick, and there that one is. Uh, getting an upgrade achievement get <laughs> time to mine and getting an upgrade, huh? I guess that's the same as like a pickaxe or something. I'm not sure. Those are the vanilla achievements, aren't they? Use planks and sticks to make a pickaxe construct a better pickaxe. Okay. Well, I guess those are the vanilla achievements anyway. Uh, so we got those done and that is going to give us a stack of nether bricks, which is pretty cool. And the blacksmith's assistant. So I think the blacksmith assistant, from what I was reading about this, you can put like four hammers in there and it'll automatically do some of the hammering for you. I don't know. I've never used this blacksmith thing before. Let's grab a block of aluminum. Do that. All right, so there's a block of aluminum. Let's just come up here real quick. Let's test this thing out and see what it's all about. So there's the... The blacksmith's anvil, you can't do anything with it. You can't right click on it. We can place a block of aluminum right like that. And I assume we just smack with the hammer. I'm not sure how many times you have to do this. Is it just the one time is it done or are we still doing stuff? It's still making those, oh, there we go, there we go. Okay, so you had to smack it a few times and that gives us eight steel or steel. <laughs> Eight sheets of aluminum. I was going to say steel for some reason. Yeah, eight sheets of aluminum. Okay, so 
that's what that's all about. So the blacksmith's assistant, I think you set this down next to an anvil and you put a hammer into it. Or maybe, I, I don't know. Let's see. Can I not pick this up? Maybe this has to be one block lower. Maybe this has to be one block higher is what I mean. Uh, so if we remove that, we place this here. I'm not sure how that works. If that needs power or not, <laughs> I've never used that before. Uh, I wonder if you just like smack that with, or you just put a block in there and it'll do what it needs to do. Unfortunately, I don't have any more aluminum on me, so we can't test that out. I don't know what else you can make with this thing. I assume this is how that works. It just goes up one level higher and it'll automatically hammer for you. Um, anyway, that's pretty cool. So we'll just go ahead. We'll worry about that another time. So we did get that quest knocked out. We do have the aluminum sheets now, which is pretty awesome. Is that, oh, that one breaks a little bit quicker. All right, so now that we have that done, we are one step closer. Let me grab that other item that fell down here. We are one step closer to what we wanted to do. So we were gonna make the rolling machine. Yeah, and that required these sheets of aluminum, the pistons, brick construction block, which we should be able to make now and everything else. So yeah, guys, I think we're gonna go and wrap the episode up here for today. We'll continue on next time looking at making the rolling machine, looking at a way to power that, making our carpenter. Hopefully by then we'll have enough creosote that we can make the stuff in the carpenter that we're trying to make. But yeah, guys, that's it for today. Thank you guys for watching. Remember to leave a like on this episode if you liked it, and we'll see you next time. Thanks for watching, guys. Bye-bye.